Uh, in the last episode, we already learned about how to save information to the SQLite database. So in this video, uh, we are going to learn about how to save the same information to the application server. So here, uh, we are going to use Volley for transfer the data to the remote server. And here I'm going to follow the singleton pattern to transfer data to the remote server. So we need a separate Java class for the Volley singleton pattern. Uh, so create a new Java class uh, with the class name my singleton okay here I add all the needed method for the volley singleton pattern here is a method that return an object of a request queue uh, here is a method that return an instance of this class and here is the method for add each request to the request queue. Now open dbcontract.java. Here we need to add one more variable. I name it as a server URL. And specify the URL. And there is a folder called uh, sync demo and in that folder the php script name is sync info.php so here we use the ip 10.0.2.2 this is because here uh, we are going to test this application on an android virtual device so all the android virtual device use use this default ip for accessing the localhost so in localhost we have a folder called the sync demo and that folder contains the php script with the file name sync info.php and now go to main activity java uh, so here i am going to make some changes on the previous code uh, here we have a method called save it to local storage so here i am going to change this method name save it to app server i change that method name into save it to app server and here i am going to define uh, one more method i name it as uh, save it to local storage and for this method uh, we need two parameters first one is name and second one is the sync status so i did i cut these statements from here so first we have to obtain connection to the sqlite database then I cut this statement from the else part and put it here so here we pass name sync status and database object so here the sync status available on this variable called a sync and finally uh, we can close the connection and refresh the adapter so here we call the method called uh, read from local storage so inside a uh, read from local storage uh, we clear the data available on the array list uh, then we again read the information from the sqlite database and finally uh, we refresh the adapter by calling the method called uh, notify data set change okay so now go to the save to app server method so from the submit name that means when user click the button uh, this method will invoke so from here uh, we can call the new method called uh, save to app server and pass the name okay and from that method first here we check the network connection if there is no network connection we can call the method called uh, save to local storage and pass name and here we need to sync the data with the app server so uh, we have to pass the sync status into sync status failed okay and if there is a network connection is available in that case 
uh, we need to save the data to the application server if the data successfully saved in the application server uh, we have to save the same data to the local storage with sync status okay so now uh, here i'm going to make a string request a volley string request new string request first first parameter is the request method type here we are going to use the post method now we need to pass the server url the server url is all already available on the db contract class with uh, variable name server url now specify the listeners here is the response listener now specify the error listener so here uh, we need to specify the request body for specify the request body you need to override one more method called the get params so in that method first you need to declare some variables for map so here the key type is string and value type is also string and here the variable name is params and initialize that variable in the hash map okay now save value to these params by calling this method called the put first specify the key value here the key is name then pass the data and finally return that map object from this method after that we can pass this string request to the request queue so call the my singleton dot get instance and pass the context main activity dot this now add the request to the request queue here the request is a string request okay and now we can handle the response so here the response from server is a json object so create some variables for json object and pass the response and uh, here uh, you need to here you need to place some try catch block okay here i place the try catch block now get the response from the json object so create a string variable uh, response equal to json object dot get string here the key is a response okay now we can check the response from server so if response dot equals okay that means the data successfully saved in the application server in that case we can call the method called the save it to local storage and pass the name uh, then the sync status so here the data successfully saved in the application server so here the sync status is okay so db contract dot sync status okay otherwise that means if there is some error occur on the server and the data is not successfully saved in that case uh, we have to save the data to the local storage with sync status failed okay so if there is some error occur so if there is a network error occur in that case this method will invoke here also uh, we can save the data to the local storage with sync status failed okay now we successfully save the data to the application server now we can test it okay now the application available on this virtual device so first here i am going to clear the data from the application so go to settings open apps and find the android application Uh, here it is and clear the data clear data so it will clear the database so now try to open the application again okay now the database is cleared now go to the uh, local host now here also i need to clear all the data 
and erased the primary key set the auto increment into 1 okay now there is no data available on localhost and there is no data on the uh, SQLite database okay so first here I am going to uh, I just switch on the airplane mode that means there is no data connection available on this device now I'm going to add some data I add some data and submit so here the data available on the SQLite database and here the sync status shows that this data need to be synced with the app server and try to add some more data and submit the data and now here that data is also available on the SQLite database and here the sync status shows that this data need to be synced with the application server now browse data here there is no data available now I turn on the I'm going to switch off the airplane mode so here now there is internet connectivity available with this virtual device try to add some data and submit it and here the sync status shows that this data is successfully saved with the application server so we can check it so here that data is now available on the app server try to add some more data and try to save it and that data is also successfully saved to the application server we can check it so that data is also available on the app server now I just remove the application from the device memory and try to open it again and here it shows that these all these data are successfully saved to the SQLite database so in this case we save both the we save the data to both the SQLite database and also to the application server so in the next episode we are going to perform the sync operation still here there is two data are available for sync with the application server i hope you understand the concepts in the next video we are going to learn about how to sync all these data with the application server